Welcome to Transform Arrows into Progress by Adding Actions. Hey, I'm Eric. And one of the things that actually, I think one of the things that really excites me about uh, BC22, uh, 2023 we want, is the ability to add an action to an arrow, meaning that we have the ability to, you know, we, we, we give the user some, some nasty arrow, but then we also kind of give them a way out. Uh, click here to fix it, kind of things. Um, so why don't we explore that together and see how that works? Um, I have, as usual, started a, um, a new extension here, and um, I guess we let's uh, let's create an action on uh, on this page. Test. That's a good action. Um, we can go for this. It kind of breaks, but uh, let's uh, let's uh, use the space. So let's create a variable and 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 to throw a fancy arrow. So so let's actually talk about that for a second. Um, this is. A normal error right this is how we have done this for for decades if you draw an error it's it comes off but if we look at the arrow function um, and I need to do come on we're not allowed to do that anymore let's see if we can get that to work again Interesting. Let's see if, what happens if I do. Uh, that's because oh man, we have I've confused the earth. So let's uh, let's do add first. Did you yell at the screen? I think you should have yelled at the screen here. So so I got tricked by the the. the the stupid AI to uh, to write something that did not make any sense. Um, so let's try again. So a normal error here. Here we go. So this is how we have we have done it for for ages. But in reality, you know, there's another overload to uh, to error that takes an error infrastructure. So we can create a fancy error. Um, so if, if I create one of those, um, then I can throw E here instead of that. And and I could go and say E dot, um, dot message equal not that fancy. Um, and let's try to deploy this. Let's try to deploy this. Come on, BC. Getting ready. Why is this thing so long? Um, where did we put it here? Test. And we got, of course, got this as a breakpoint. We'll just hit a five. Not that fancy. I actually like that Microsoft, instead of click here for more details, and then you can click uh, the thing that they just say copy details and get over it because we always click for more and then you uh, pointless page where, where nothing or nothing useful on that other than the link to, to uh, copy details to the clipboard. So uh, I like this improvement. It's actually good. Anyway, this is not that fancy, um, but the idea is that we can we can do something here. We can say e dot add navig add action and then add navigation action. Um, so what is now? See, this is this is just the the AI being completely off script here. 
At navigation action, the text string can appear as the caption of the action in the arrow UI. The string can be a label that is enabled for multi-language functionality. Adds a navigation action for the arrow. Um, I'm not sure what a navigation action has in this case. So how about go north? That's that's clearly a navigation action. Let's see what, what that does. Home. See, now we I should you should yell at the screen and say, Eric, you don't have to run the debug all the time here. So now we have so you see this is this is different, right? I'm not sure what this is meant to do. Um but let's do the other one. E dot add E please E dot add action. So we have a caption, so let's go south. Here and then we need to have a code unit. Fifty thousand. That's kind of fifty thousand one hundred probably. And a method name. So so, I just looked at uh, be helpful. How about that? So here's the. This is the. By the way, this is very interesting. But I'll get back to that in a second. Uh, let's add a file. Uh, helpful al. This is code you need. This one helpful. Um, so now I need to have a procedure called be helpful, and that procedure needs to take an arrow info as parameter. Uh, and now we could do something. There we go. So now we're doing something. Be helpful. So let's see how that works. Home test. Oh, Eric, you forgot the debugger again. So now we have two actions. So go north. Did not so go south. Wasn't that helpful? Was it helpful though? So what can we do with this? Um, could we add any more parameters to this thing? Caption code unit method name. So we okay, let's for let's try one thing. Business central add navigation action. Um, let's let's read together. Oh, this is who's this? Hey, Tomas. Oh, awesome. Let's see. Uh, ah. So we can add in a page number, field number, and a record. That is excellent. Thank you, Tomas, for that awesome block. Uh, so what we could do here is that we could do page number equal 21, customer, got, and uh, what does uh, he say? Page field number equal, uh, we can do rec because then we got that field number of the of the address address field 
and then was, was the last thing he suggested record ID record ID equal rec dot uh, record ID that's kind of weird that it's record ID now that we have system ID so this is the go north let's try that so we get our arrow and we got the breakpoint Eric I forget that we say go north and we open that card and we focus on that field for the custom we're on so let's just make sure that if we are on the alpine ski house we do this again I still got the debugger running. Go north. And we're on the ski house. So that is pretty good. Um so so the only thing I'm 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 kind of so if we do the action thing, then we do not get a context. Well, let's check Thomas thing again here. That's the navigation and a code unit and a function. Yeah, he 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 just did the same thing I did. Uh, but thank you so much, Thomas. Excellent. Um, so. I, I wish that we could or, or pass a you know a dictionary with uh, with parameters to this because what what good is uh, to call a code unit and a, and a method in a code unit where we have no context other than this is the function uh, um, uh, so I guess if we need to do that, then we would need to, you know, let, let's try this. So let's misuse our helpful here. And then let's create this as a uh, single instance true. And then we'll procedure set context. Um, and do it. And then create a global variable here remembered system ID remember system ID that's a GUID and we'll do here this function then remembered system ID is, is equal to that and no stupid AI we don't need another end um, so up here we could then do you know c record cost wow customer and uh, and then do c dot get by system id remembered system id then we'll just put the customer name in here so c dot c dot name and okay, I'll, I'll explain this in a second. Uh, no, no, because this is too late. No, it's not. No, sorry, this is not too late. This is this is. So we need to get helpful code unit helpful, and then we need to do helpful dot set context break dot system ID see if that works and now I start with debugger again I am this is so I'll select the Alpine ski house do a test get the debugger go here then that was which one of this that was south go south wasn't that helpful up on ski house so 
so so even though we got an error and by therefore we therefore we got a a rollback of the database the what i did here let me actually explain that again sorry if that was so i created a single instant code unit meaning that this stays in memory uh, there's only one of these there's can't be only one uh, of these code units there and uh, it has global variables so i created a function to store a value in the global value in that global variable um, so i set it there and then i knew that this would call into that function so when i'm in that function i will have the uh, uh, the global variable there. Uh, it's it's a dirty hack, and I think I think this one could really help by you know adding a, a parameter a dictionary or something like that. Um, but I, I guess I guess that can come in the next version. Uh, so. Those are actions on on errors, and I, I, I so the I, I love the idea. Uh, I love the thing where hey, we know you did something wrong. We almost also kind of know what the solution is, uh, and uh, either we can just fix it for you, like with an with an with an action thingy. Uh, or we can navigate you to where you need to go to fix it. Um, can can I? I wonder if. So actually, actually, here bonus content. Uh, let me see if I can break this. Uh, let's move this to the customer card. So uh, so now we're adding the action on customer card instead. So so here here's what I'm thinking. Um, can I do navigation to the page I'm on, right? Uh, so now we are on on the on the customer card here, uh, and we said that it was the address field. So let's put the cursor up here, and I'll do the test. And let me stop the debugger here. So test, and now I'll go north. Okay, so it actually opened a new card on top of the one I was on. Uh, um. Because might might be that the solution is a field on the screen you're on, uh, so you could actually take take them to that field. Uh, the other thing I was I was thinking is uh, with the with the add action and a, and a code unit, it becomes really hard to auto restart the operations that you're on. Um, Like let's say you click post, and then uh, you had an error saying that the the posting dates are not within the uh, whatever it is. Uh, so you could have a function extend my allowed posting date. Maybe this is not the best best example, but that was the one I could think of right now, uh, and that will would then fix that and then restart the action from the page. Um, Anyway, lots of uh, lots of uh, lots of room for for even f even fancier errors here in the future. Uh, anyway, I like this. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this in in all my apps as soon as I can, with good conscience, actually deploy apps that has version 22 dependencies um, if you want more ale hacking you know the drill this is the video for you uh, check it out and maybe subscribe to the channel also if you haven't done that already uh, i'll see you there take care bye